Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's Alex Chi, and I want to share with you guys today on how to build a bigger chest. Uh, I've been lean bulking for the past three months, and my lean bulk is coming to an end. So it's a good time for me to share with you guys to show you guys the progress I've made. Uh, but first off, I want to explain to you guys how it basically works. When I started my lean bulk, I was about eighty-seven kilos, uh, and I was only able to incline bench press about ninety-five to hundred kilo for struggling five reps. Coming to three months later, I'm almost able to incline press hundred and ten kilos for about I think three to five reps. With that said, I want to share with you guys so you guys can try it out. I like to warm up uh, my rotator cuff and my shoulder first before going really heavy. Then while doing all that, I would go on to my compound movement. Now I would choose either two type of compound movement for chest. Uh, I would either do the flat bench press or do the incline bench press. As for today, I am doing an incline bench press. So right here, I'm just warming up. I'm just doing the weight and just controlling on the form, touching my chest and going all the way to the top. And you know, 20 kilos might seem intimidating for many of you guys. Uh, so I definitely recommend you guys to go with your own weight, your own pace, find your own level and just go through that. All right. Uh, once you are done warming up, I want you to go really heavy. Now, when I say heavy, I mean performing 5 to 8 reps of really stressful sets. So the goal is to go heavy on your first compound movement and not on the second or the third exercise later. This way, you come into the gym fresh and obviously you are able to perform much better and you know get the most out of it uh, rather than doing it 2-3 exercises later. However, if you feel that you can increase the weight, please do because that is the best way to just overload the chest muscle and that allows you to progress. The rest time for this is about 2-3 to three minute maximum guys. So two to three minutes between set and right after the whole four sets of heavy training, I would go and drop the weight down uh, to a decent heavy weight. Right here, I'm doing about 90 kilos and just pump 10 reps of proper reps. You guys can see it's pretty much controlled all the way down, touch and all the way to the top. This is a great way to really stretch your chest and allow you to do and perform a lot more high repetition than the heavy set. And it's kind of in a way like a deload and yeah so right after that we move on to the second compound movement and we'll drop it to a pretty decent heavy set and just pump it up for 10 to 12 reps and add a really controlled rep so what happened is if i were to put my flat bench press as the first compound movement i will put my incline bench press as a second compound movement and drop the weight a lot more so it's basically just a switch over like I like to switch it up uh, when I go really heavy on the flat I would go decent heavy in the incline if I go really heavy on the incline I would go decent heavy on the flat moving on I'm doing this lightweight eccentric movement uh, dumbbell press now the reason to do this is basically just to keep your chest in control and to keep it contracted all the way to the top as well as extending it down really slow this allows your chest to just go through a really intensity state uh, for about 10 reps. You don't have to go too heavy, lightweight is good enough. Moving on to the isolation part, which is very important if you want to stretch out your chest in all variations. So this is one of the best exercises for me. Uh, I personally love it, so I do it in almost all of my chest exercises. I would keep it at a very basic tree set and pump it for 12 to 15 reps of proper form. So you guys can see that I am not rushing it. I'm actually really taking my time to stretch and contract every single rep. That will give me a maximum stretch and basically a maximum squeeze on the muscle fibers, allowing it to just get a good pump at the same time, help me grow and build that chest. And after that, I stretch for 30 seconds, a good 30 to a minute. A great way to cool down and let blood flow go through the muscle. It's a very simple protocol. We go really, really heavy first, and then we kind of just tone down along the way, and then we really just control all the way, increase the volume of the training, and just finish off by stretching and contracting more. That is one of the best ways that I believe that can really help you guys put on some muscle mass if you guys are doing it properly. I think a lot of people that go to the gym has a problem where they either don't focus on their form, they don't dare to go heavy because of the mindset barrier that they're facing. You guys want to go there with a plan and you guys want to make sure that you guys are maximizing that exercise using your energy for efficiency over time you guys will definitely see some results so yeah guys that's my tips for how to build up a bigger chest i hope you guys enjoy it uh, i'll be making videos like this so if you guys want to see more comment down below and of course hit that thumbs up button for me subscribe because i'll be posting more videos on youtube 
And yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.